Hello YouTube, this is Ariel, and um, this is my kinky twist journey, <laughs> two day journey, and it turned out okay, not like I wanted it to, um, but I'm going to let you guys see what happened, and hopefully what you like you can do, and what you... You know, what didn't turn out so right with me, hopefully that'll help you not make the same mistake. Hello YouTube, this is Ariel. I am attempting, let me get the hair, what does this look like? I know everybody says it's like really easy, but I'm having a hard time. I'm doing it way, and this took forever, one, so we'll see uh, how it comes out. Probably be maybe a couple of days before I uh, shoot the final. Hey YouTube, um, I don't know how long it's been. Probably a very long time because I have not been doing this the whole time. I don't have a phone call, but uh, hello. I'll be back. I'm back. That phone call kind of had me take a long break. I went over to a friend's house and been over there kicking it for like hours. Um, I got back, and before all of this wasn't done, and I finished all of this, I have this piece left. So it's 2.35 in the morning, and I need another pack of hair. That's why I stopped. I ran out hey of hair. Hey, YouTube. Um, I finished putting the twist in. I just didn't curl the end, so I couldn't wear it down with it just, like, flat and without curls so here it is in a bun and I can't wait till I curl it because I kind of feel like it's I don't know what y'all think 1999 with this big old like patchwork thing on top of my head but I don't know. Anyway, anyway, I'll curl it tonight, put in rollers, and I'll see in the morning how it turns out. Hello, Dang. YouTube. Okay, when did I start these kinky twists? Saturday? Saturday. And I worked on it. It was quite late in the day, actually, when I started, like 5 o'clock or something. And I worked on it. Um... Got a little bit done. It took me forever to do like one. Because I started off trying to twist it, you know. I didn't braid it. I just twisted it because I saw this girl on YouTube who did it that way. And I mean that way was for me. It may not have been for you. But for me it was so much harder to do it that way. So eventually I just abandoned that technique. And I braided it. And it looks just as good. Went to a get-together. They were laughing at me the whole time, y'all, calling me Patra and all this. Because I had, like, all of this was not not done. So I tied, like, a do-rag. I just looked so ghetto. But anyway, I had some big old earrings on. But anyway, yeah, whatever. So I got back, and I finished all but, like, the middle part. And that was three packs of hair. Okay, this is like a tutorial or a guide of me telling you what not to do. Okay, if you're going to cut the um, kinky twist down anyway like I did, you probably don't need to use a whole strand of hair for one twist, especially if it's like in the front and you're going to cut it short. You can cut it in half and then you won't need as much hair. I need it for packs of hair because I just didn't know I just I don't know what I was doing but yeah I used like a whole lot of hair for parts of my head where I was just gonna cut it in half anyway and I could have avoided all that so don't do that um and I tried to curl it I curled I put it in rollers I dipped it in hot water I slept on it I woke up I took them out and Y'all, it did not curl, and I have no idea why, but I'm going to try this. I'm going to leave this in for like two weeks because, I mean, it was a lot of work, even though I didn't do it right, and then I'm going to 
do my sister. <laughs> I'm going to experiment on her. She wants them anyway. And I think I'll do much better on someone else. And then I'll, you know, try to tackle it again with me. Sorry, wait one second. Got to get my coffee on. But, um, yeah, anything else? Also, make sure you don't make them too big. I got a little lazy in some spots. And as you can see, it's a little bit more spaced out than what I would have liked. But I think it's okay for my first time. And I'm so synthetically challenged. I mean, when I lived in Chicago, there were like three African braid shops on one block. And it was just a couple of houses, a couple of blocks away from my house. I mean, that's how many african braid shops there are in chicago so i just go there and drop 220 dollars like in a heartbeat and just have them do it so i mean i really did not know how involved it could be so um yeah but i mean 220 versus about 20 that's a lot of money saved but <laughs> yeah let's see here um, anything else I can tell you? I'm going to wear it in ponytail because y'all don't want to see it down. It's just not curled and I don't like how it looks when it's not like that. When it's just kind of like straight. But, um, yeah, it's not horrible. You know, throw on a little makeup and you'll be alright. But anyway, um, I have another video coming about my trip to H-Town, Houston, um, yeah, sorry about those rockets, but, you know, that's, the, that's life. Let's see. To the side. 